Video tonight, 11 Alive is holding the powerful accountable after a family says a hospital never notified them it was releasing their loved one who suffered from dementia. Five days later, he was found dead in a wooded area just a quarter mile from Piedmont Noonan Hospital. The family telling our Caitlin Ross that they believe he'd still be alive today if the hospital handled this differently. She joins us now. Caitlin? I first heard from William Bull's family last Tuesday. They were frantically trying to find him after they say he was unexpectedly released from Piedmont Noonan. His daughter says he suffered from severe dementia and had been brought to the hospital by an ambulance for a mental health evaluation. She says they only learned he had been released when they called to check on him. He doesn't know who he was. He has dementia. He was not safe. When she learned he was missing, William Bowles' daughter Jennifer asked me to share her dad's picture on social media, hoping someone may have seen him. I posted the flyer after the Coweta County Sheriff's Office issued a Maddie's call, an emergency alert for missing people who are elderly or disabled. The post was shared hundreds of times and people organized a search party to look for him. It's such a broad area. I mean, the woods back there, how many miles? The Bulls family says the hospital would not release surveillance video to the sheriff's office for two days, so they didn't have a lead about where he might have gone after he left the hospital. If we would have found out that day when we told them he was missing and he was missing from there, they could have brought in dogs and it would have been the hot trail. Then on Saturday, members of a search party sent me a picture of his shoes in the woods just before they found his body in a creek behind the hospital. The family intends to sue the hospital and wants to force it to change its release policy. To please make sure these people are being released with someone that can take care of them that that are make sure they get home safe that we that another family won't be going through the pain that we're feeling i asked the hospital today if its policy requires it to notify a family member or caretaker before someone with dementia is released it would not directly answer that question instead sending a statement saying quote we extend our sympathies regarding this heartbreaking loss we will continue to work with the appropriate authorities in any ongoing inquiries. All right, Caitlin, thank you.